There was 9-11 and then there was anthrax. And tonight it is confirmed a new case of Federal Ebola. Federal investigators came up with the name of a suspect in the anthrax attack. Sandy storm surge is predicted to be even stronger. Give me 15 minutes and I should have a definitive answer for you. I'm just gonna go down. Sure. 886 straight down. All of those things on the Let's talk in another 15 minutes, okay? Thank you, Terrence. Today we're conducting RAMPEX. This is the largest no-notice exercise that New York City has ever conducted. And it's testing everything from the warehouse, all aspects of the transportation, to the delivery, to the actual point of dispensing sites where we would give medication to the public. medications on site. We are mobilizing 30 points of dispensing. It's a community-based model. We anticipate worst case scenarios, transportation would be down, so people should be able to walk to their pods, which would be in a local school. We've encountered a lot of things that we more or less anticipated, a few things that we didn't. At this point, most of the pods have received their supplies and their medications. Two of Doxy, okay. Ready to open. All open. Congratulations, we just opened 30 pods citywide in seven hours. Yay! It's been over a year of planning, and I think it was well worth that investment. Given our the vulnerability of our population, New York City is at greatest risk, both for terrorist attacks, but also for naturally occurring incidents. I'm Dr. Mary Bassett, New York City's Health Commissioner. Over the past decade, we've built tremendous capability to respond successfully to disease outbreaks, hurricanes, terrorism. Our responses to Ebola, Legionnaire, Zika are among the finest examples of public service that I've witnessed in over 30 years in public health. The greatest danger to our progress is the decline in federal emergency preparedness funding. Continued support is critical to sustaining and strengthening our ability to protect New York City residents and the many visitors to our wonderful city. Now is not the time to take our foot off the gas.